How's it going, CCW fans? Welcome to this week's episode of Superstars of the Ring. It's me, Rich Kennedy. As always, I am happy to be here and very happy to be your host. This week, we got some good stuff lined up for you, and we're going to start with the match of the week. We have the rock and roll, Chris Turner versus Toxic. Now, you folks know the story. You watched the show. I don't have to tell you, but I'm going to anyways. So, as we all recall, after Toxic was attacked by the Diamond Exchange here in Lake City, he was feeling pretty sore and decided to settle the beef by tagging with the rock and roll Chris Turner at WrestleBash 2019. And, and things were looking good for the two until the very end, Toxic decided that he actually liked the Diamond Exchange. He liked what they had to offer. It seemed like they were in his ear. And he, uh, well, he took a turn for the worse and, and, and beat down Chris Turner. Chris Turner, not one to take a beating lightly, not one to just lay down and and and, and let somebody cross him like that. They've decided that, uh, you know, they decided to go ahead and go head to head in the ring. So here this week, we've got the match between the legendary rock and roll Chris Turner and Toxic. Let's go right down to ringside. With a 20 minute time limit, introducing first, representing the Diamond Exchange, Formerly known as Toxic? Matt Potok, what is he talking about? I'm not sure. I think it might relate to WrestleBash. Let's see. Oh, so it's Cecil Andrews. I definitely noticed, noticed the role change to yeah. Toxic. Now notice Cecil Andrews. Uh, it looks a lot different. Uh, Call it, a call it a baptism, I guess, if you may. I'm not really sure, but uh, new, new tights. Like a different look, yeah. New, new, new colors. New jacket. Very, uh, very steampunkish, if you will. The question is, is has his wrestling abilities improved? Has he gotten better as a wrestler? Well, I mean, Toxic was already one of the best competitors here in CCW. Yes. Let me show you how a real ring announcer does. Another big match here on CCW Superstars of the Ring this week. Rock and Roll Chris Turner taking on the newly rechristened Cecil Andrews. Formerly known as Toxic. So uh, there no love lost between these two. Turner's, uh, Turner's focused and ready to get after it. Here we go. Should be an exciting match between these two. No love lost after what happened at Wrestle Bash. The no. trail and the 
these two had the opportunity to become tag team champions, but as you stated, money does some funny things here at Continental Championship Wrestling is toxic, took the money, and it looks like it took an image. Yes. Image consultant. Ooh. Wow, what a backdrop by Chris Turner. Rock and roll's Chris Turner is focused, fast, furious right now. Oh yeah, this is really personal. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, no love lost. No love lost at all. The dynasty, excuse me, the uh, diamond exchange has just been on this rebuilding spree here in Continental Championship Wrestling. Now both of these both of these competitors, now that we have an opening for the CCW Heavyweight Championship, are now vantaging. They're all jockeying for a position here. Yes. To be considered in that title hunt somewhere down the line. Locking up here now. Walking with Chris Turner with the armbar there. Asking the crowd if he wants to break it. Turner's playing with uh, Cecil Andrews right now. Formerly known as Toxic. We'll have to say that a few times. If I would have ever had to guess what his real name was, yeah. I would still would have guessed Toxic. Yeah, same thing with me. Working that shoulder, working that left shoulder. Yeah, he really is staying on the arm, staying on the shoulder. And this is vintage rock and roll Chris Turner. He will stay on just one body yeah. part. Oh. Strong headlock there. Turner looks very focused in this match. Came out, was the aggressor, and, and continues to be the aggressor. Well, I, I mean, again, at, at WrestleMatch, we saw that Toxic really had to kind of work the entire match against yes. against the exchange. And, you know, no one to be found was Chris Turner. So... Turner had had that head injury where he was hitting the back of the head. Oh yeah, well the whole the whole matter was a setup. Yes. It was just another one of the diamond exchanges actions to really put the screws to Chris Turner. They did. They did. And then the after effects of the match and, and the way the evening ended with the diamond exchange just continuing to build and continuing to try to be as powerful as possible. Well, they're, they're a unit. They went from being the tag team champions is just a little bit concerning with one Brian Blitz out here as their, as their uh, manager, consultant, whatever whatever, yeah, whatever he wants to be called, wants to be called this, at this point. But, Ooh, right hand, Michael. But Blitz has helped form a very strong, cohesive organization, and we're yeah. seeing it here. Look at the difference in Toxic, just just by on visual appearance alone. The wrestling style hasn't changed. Toxic was already a very accomplished wrestler in Continental Championship. Look at Brian Blitz over here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh boy, here we go. Blitz, Blitz is you know right down on that arm, and he just walks away. Referee's distracted. Another Brian, brutal right hand. Brian Blitz paying dividends as usual for the Diamond Exchange. Yes. They're working that left arm, that left shoulder of uh, rock and roll Chris Turner. Turner, as of late, has been kind of dealing with a bicep issue. Yes. Brian Blitz just scouts everybody here in Continental Championship Wrestling. Ooh. It's, ooh, it's Chris Turner just landed hard with a thud right here in front of us. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Wow, Nick. Two is, on one here. Blitz is putting with seal to work, too. And the Toxic is over here with the referee trying to distract people. Blitz is just going to work on Chris Turner. It's it's already the numbers game. It it's, is. It is. Like we talked about, two on one. and There's nowhere to hide. I mean, this is what it is right now with the diamond exchange. Still working that bicep like you talked about, Greg. Wow. Right over the rope. And just... And again, Turner goes drop right from the apron to the ground here. That's about a good five foot drop landing yeah. right onto this hard floor. And then we got Blitz just staying on that shoulder. That referee's got to get focused there. He's uh, getting pushed around. And... Turner's back in the ring. He's banged up already. Oof, uppercut to the throat. Crowd's starting to get into it now to try to support rock and roll Chris Turner. Turner with the ropes. Ropes. Wow, up into a bear hug. And again, this is where Toxic really stands out among the Diamond Exchange is because of his brute strength. Very powerful, absolutely. I've seen it before. Now, Turner, who has been losing quite a bit of weight here in the last year, as you've been able to see, in a very strict workout regimen as well as diet that he's been working on. But Tox, excuse me, 
Cecil Andrews yeah. locking in that grip right around the waist and the upper the upper part of that stomach. And that really, it not only just drains the air from you, but it puts a lot of pressure on your ribs as it compresses. Yeah. So you're not, not only is your air escaping, you can't get more air in. No, not at all. Turner's trying to feed off the energy from the crowd here. Trying to break out of this from Cecil Andrews. And he gets out. Oh, close line. You know, at the moment, this is the age versus experience type of the match. Chris Turner has well more experience than Toxic. Yes. But Toxic has, excuse me, Cecil Andrews. Man, we're going to have to. Yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> it'll be a long while to get that correct. And you got to remember, it's two on one. Every time Turner gets close to the. Either goes outside of the ring or close to the ropes. Brian Blitz is getting involved. Yep, and at some point, you know, he's going to have the referee's going to have to look into this because he is really wrenching on that arm. You know, all it takes is all it takes is one of those type of uh, type of adjustments like that, or or a drop kick directly into the shoulder to end you having a shoulder in his match. Cecil Landry is just working this crowd now and, and continuing to taunt them. Brian Blitz is taunting them. That was a beautiful drop kick. Yes, it was. You know, Toxic's wrestling ability. Toxic was already a fantastic wrestler. Again, whipping him to the ropes. Oh! A little just awkward. Collision. Looked like a shoulder, looked like a shoulder block between both of these men. Chris Turner definitely in a lot of pain after that, after that uh, shoulder block. And oh, Another. Oh, Brian Blitz hooked the leg right in front of the ref. Referee's going to get on it, but nothing really, nothing he can do. I think the referee saw it. Brian Blitz, well, this is going on behind him. There comes Toxic now, yeah, Cecil. And he's going to the top rope. Let's see what we got here. Great balance, and he missed. Oh, boy. The swanton. Turner, turn around, reverse it. Rucker drop. He bounced him right on his head. Here. One, two, he's grabbing the rope. Three, he grabbed the rope. That's it. <coughs> Turner wins. Rock and roll, Chris Turner. Turner grabbed the rope wow. over Cecil Andrews. Huge and Brian win. Blitz is beside himself. He took advantage of a mistake by Cecil Andrews, otherwise known as, also known as Toxic. Flipped right off, missed. Well, Chris Turner, Turner connected. Chris Turner never above Whoa. breaking a rule every now and then, but he really just one-upped the diamond exchange there with that. Hey, you got to do what you got to do in that situation. He was out man two to one. He had to do what he had to do. Great win. Boy, this crowd's real excited. What a Rock and roll Chris Turner with a big win. Big win. You know, maybe we should throw back to Kennedy in the, in the station. Yeah, gotcha. Hell of a match between the two, and interestingly, Toxic no longer seeming to go under the moniker Toxic. I'm assuming being announced as Cecil Andrews, that would be his real name, reclaiming his birthright, so to speak. Well, good luck to him going forward as it now seems like it's the Diamond Exchange, Brian Blitz, and Cecil Andrews. Oh, let's not also forget Ian Shire in the mix as well. Folks, now, we announced it on the web show before, and uh, we saw it in Lake City, but we wanted to bring it to you in home, on your TV screens, on your computer screens, on your phone screens, wherever you like to watch the show. The outlaw, Jamie McKinnon, he had a huge announcement to make for you folks, and I'm not going to get in the outlaw's way anymore. I've tried that once, and it didn't end well for me. So let's just let, you know, let's let Jamie speak for himself. Here's the footage. CCW wrestling fans, the champ asked for this time because it's very important announcement I got. Now you would think I wasn't finna make an announcement about beating Chris Turner up or Cody Knight or Landon or whoever's next, Toxic. That's what you think's coming. But that's not what's coming. Listen to this, get a close up. It's over with. As of Saturday, September 28th, after 957 days, the champ is no longer it. This belt right here deserves to be defended and I can't do it anymore. And I'm gonna tell you why. About a month ago, I went to, about a month before WrestleBash, I went to the doctor. My shoulder was killing me. 
He sent me to you, and I can't even hardly say it, to the Gator Hospital. I can't stand Florida. Florida football, that's the biggest joke in the SEC. I can't stand it, being from the University of Texas. But anyway, listen here. The guy told me, you have a torn rotator cuff, a torn labrum, a separated shoulder, bone spurs, and a torn bicep. And I said, Doc, can you fix it? And he said, most definitely. I can put your shoulder back together, and in five months, you can be back in the ring. And I thought that was the best news. I give the belt back, and in five months, by Wrestle Bash 2020, I'm back in the ring, and I'm winning my belt back. And then I'm on a road trip and something bad happens. My eye, my eye. I had some kind of vision block in my eye. And I went to the doctor and he told me that your eye had impact on it from whenever you was a kid sometime, a long time ago. And that's where it's getting blurry. That's why my eye's blurry. And he also said, if you continue to wrestle, you will go blind. So CCW wrestling fans, that's it. This ain't no joke. This ain't no work. This ain't nothing, smart marks. This is what it is. It's over with. I will never compete for anybody again in CCW. But I always want you to know one thing. If you went to work and you worked your way till Friday or Saturday night in order to pay for a ticket to see me, I always wanted to give you your money's worth, and I think I've done that. Now, I'm going to the Double Cross Ranch, and I'm going to lay up, and I'm going to take it easy, because I know that I'm leaving here the undefeated, undisputed CCW Heavyweight Champion. And I got one other thing, and I said, I'm cutting it short. There's three people that I feel sorry for. Toxic, Cody Knight, and Landon Cruz. Toxic. Because you probably gave me the second best beating that I've ever got in this business. You deserve to be the heavyweight champion. And one day you will. Landon Cruz, as you laid bloody and beaten in Lake City, and I walked in and beat your head in, you didn't complain about it, you didn't whine about it, and you're probably the best athlete in CCW. And you deserve to be the heavyweight champion. And one day you will be. And then that freak of nature, that six foot seven, 300 pounder, Cody Knight. Listen here, kid. Me and you had a five star match right here in Fernanda Beach. You one day will deserve to be the heavyweight champion. But that night, you remember, an old man whipped your ass with half a shoulder, kid. That's how tough I am. Jamie McKinnon, it's, he's done. It's over vacated the title. The CCW World Heavyweight Championship is open and up for grabs? Is that what you're telling me? When this isn't even happened, this, this hasn't happened in years. I mean, this has gotta be the first time in a long time, to my knowledge, that, that it's been a vacated championship. And I, I don't know, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what to think right now. I mean, there's so many superstars that, that are going to be chomping, that are gonna be salivating, they're gonna be scratching for this championship. They're all gonna want a shot at this title. Who is it gonna be? You got the new breed, Landon Cruz. You've got you've got you've got Cody Knight. I mean, he's put on a good showing against the outlaw himself. And then who else? I mean, the, the Diamond Exchange, they're blowing up the tag team scene right now. You know, could it be Daniel Anderson? Does he want to get another shot at it? Shooter McGee? Or it could be someone out of nowhere. Someone who I, I wouldn't normally think on the surface would want a belt, but maybe he wants to do it to cause a bit of chaos. Could it be Manson Gray? I don't really know who is going to get the belt, but I can guarantee you that everybody in CCW, every superstar, if they have anything to say, if they are in this business for a reason, that would be one of the number one reasons. One of the number one goals I would have to think is going after the vacated CCW World Heavyweight Championship. And now, folks, we are going to cut to some footage from the wild thing, Mike Anthony. My guest at this time, the reigning CCW Alternative Champion, the Wild Thing, Mike Anthony!
great to have you here in the ring tonight. Man, you have been all over the place defending the CCW Alternative Championship that you won in Fernandina Beach a few months back. Man, they have all been lining up and you've been knocking them up. I was gonna say, being all the guys that you've been sending at. What are you doing? One more time, amateur. Go home! Mr. Anthony, I got nothing personal against you. I'm not quite sure what you're doing here right now, but this is not an exchange time, not yours. So if you would, sir, go ahead and head to the back. People that come into a ring and run their mouth get hurt. You understand me? Do you understand me? I'm trying to tell you. I mean, smooth moves by the wild thing. Coming in and quick move, hopping out of there, getting out of danger's way. I mean, come on, Diamond Dave is not gonna be happy as 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 his boys, you know, the Diamond Exchange made to look like a, like a Scooby Doo villain out there. I mean, good 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 one on the on the you know the wild thing, Mike Anthony and and you know, Diamond Exchange. I mean, normally. You got to be careful. You want to get out of their way because if they get their hands on you, you you're, you're done for. But go to Mike Anthony, get out of the way. And folks, I hate to say it, but that's it for this week. That's all we've got for you. We know next week that there's going to be a lot more action. There's going to be a lot more videos. And 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 folks, keep in mind we have a vacated World Heavyweight Championship. Who knows what's going to happen on next week's show or the show after that? We've got so much up in the air right now. I just can't even, it's hard for me to sit still. Honestly, I kind of want to walk off set right now because I just don't really know what else to tell you. So I will tell you this. Folks, every Wednesday, tune in at ccwrestling.biz. You can watch all of our old episodes, all of our new episodes, whatever you want to watch. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Keep up with us. You have all the updates of our upcoming shows, what we've got going on. And But until then, you know, it's been me, Rich Kennedy. And I can't wait to catch you folks down at ringside. Take care.